Hey everyone, how's everybody doing today? So, whew, it's all tangled up here. But I do have another A1466 2017 MacBook Air in here actually for repair. And um, the client actually dropped it off. Um, they bought it refurbished, they bought it used like a little while ago, or maybe like a month or so ago. And then all of a sudden they put in their bag, turn on, and then all of a sudden it's just dead. Um, so I actually did take a look at it. I have it open here anyway. And I did notice that there is some, if you can actually see even some liquids around here, you see it even on the battery up over here. It's kind of a little bit liquid damage there. And uh, it's not powering on. There's no power at all. And it looks like there's some liquid stains. I let them know about it, that there was some liquid uh, at least on the, the Mac itself there. They weren't aware of it totally. So um, I don't know if it's something that just corroded a little bit more over time or just something that just kind of went worse and went bad. But that's why we're actually taking a look at it. That's why we're actually opening it up. And we're going to go a little bit further today on this one. But anyways, before we really get started on this, before we really take a look at it, before we always take a look at the issues, I uh, just want to let you guys know, uh, we do a lot of these videos. Um, if, you, if you really want to help us out um, showing other people these videos, we want to shoot it up to the stars so everyone can actually see the video itself there. And um, the only way to do that really is to help the algorithm. And the best way for you guys to help us out, to show other people um, all of our MacBook uh, repairs, liquid spill repairs, Day recovers all the things that we do here. It's just to hit that like button. It's very easy. Just go down there. Go ahead, click it. It's showing people how to do repairs themselves. Maybe giving a lot of information to other people. We also talk about lots of um, issues that kind of go on, uh, common issues and everything else that go on. So if you wouldn't mind just doing that, it doesn't take much. Just hit that click. It really does help us a lot. We would really appreciate that. So let's actually get right into the repair and let's see what's going on. I don't see any obvious corrosion here that's on the top here. Uh, anything super obvious it looks pretty clean even though there's a little bit of stains around the battery and stains around here it wouldn't be too surprising if uh maybe there's a simple fix and we've done lots of other videos but let's try the first things first right let me go plug it in see what we get here and we get a green light and then we get an orange light without the battery connected and there's no fan spin um let's see if anything is getting warm sometimes there can be a short it's very easy to find that um, sometimes especially around this area where the caps are it's a real easy way to do that um but we want to go with the symptoms. Obviously, there's no power, so there's something going on here. Okay, so we popped it up. Uh, see anything obvious? See anything obvious? Nothing too obvious here that we can see. Now, since we removed everything, let's go ahead and test it again, see if we get the same symptoms. We always want to make it easy before we get into hard things, right? Because something could be giving a problem. Who knows? So we plug it in. Is it dead now? Oh, yeah, there's no light. Man, you guys need to remind me. It's still spin though, I think, even without this thing. If it was healthy. Okay, so plug it in. And still nothing, right? Obviously, because there's nothing else going on. So we need to take a look um, under the microscope. We need to see if there's a short here. Okay, so here is the SMC. And I noticed something over here. Look at that. That's a U7501. And so what do we got here? We have liquid spill. We have corrosion in that bottom right corner there. Okay, so what we need to do is we're going to add some flux. We're going to make sure that we actually clean it. But cleaning is never a good way. The lazy way isn't a good way because you're always going to have problems in the future. So we need to actually rebuild this trace because there is a problem with the trace here. So cleaning it isn't going to be enough. So what we need to do is we need to remove the U7501 and we need to do a replacement on it as well as rebuild uh, the trace that's actually been damaged. So when we lift it, you go look at the bottom right corner and you'll actually see the damage of it compared to the other um, trace lines that are there. You can see how all the other ones look a little bit more bold and then the other ones just a little bit more, I guess you can see it's a little bit more darker color and you can't really see the shine as much. That actually is because the trace is actually damaged. So what we need to do is we need to clean it off, make sure it's, it's totally fine. And what we need to do is rebuild this trace. So how are we gonna rebuild the trace? Well, we can actually just use some flux here and we can use our hot iron with some solder and we can rebuild it that way. And that's gonna, what it's gonna do is rebuilding the trace is going to um, give connectivity so when we put the chip back on, it's gonna connect properly to it. It's hard to see that on the side of it. Um, sometimes you can get really lazy and just try to clean it, but uh, obviously that isn't gonna be the case with this one. We need to rebuild it because you can clearly see there's damage to the trace. Leaving this um, unoptimal is what it's gonna do is it's going to um, give problems in the future so we have to make sure we fix this trace line because it may work on the other way but then you might have problems in the future so we're going to go ahead and replace the, the chip here too as well just to make sure there's no extra uh, anything else that's going to happen and then what we need to do is just 
obviously put it back on and we're going to go ahead and test it and see if it go ahead and works it should work now because we saw the clear damage to it and this is a very important chip it's very close to the main uh, smc there and it's a very important uh, power controller so let's go ahead and see if it works okay so we didn't put it all the way back because we just want to test it right so at least we got like the basic things in there the lcd um i didn't plug the hard drive in so when we plug it in hopefully we'll get fan spin and we can go to the boot option menu or get a folder icon but we do have fan spin here that's good this whole option before it goes crazy all right there's a nice chime took a little bit of time but it's fine and we're able to have power. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys are gonna watch this video on fixing the A1466 2017 MacBook Air. Do lots of repairs for these ones. Uh, you could see that there, there was a bit of damage. We were able to actually fix it and power it on. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like for this. Help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. We do lots of MacBook uh, repairs. You can go ahead and check out our channel. We have lots of different stuff on that. We also have data recoveries, lots of cool software stuff. Anything else, go ahead and check it out. We have lots of cool stuff on here. Um, but at least we got the board fixed. That's always the best thing. And um, we'll see you guys next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.